We got together in July 18th of 2022 and got married in June of 2023. The relationship with Haley was just kind of too quick for me. The relationship started off decent. We was friends, good friends, became good friends. But as we got to being in a relationship, it kind of went downhill fast. I moved her into my house, and then that's when I started realizing things started changing. She started to like control my household, and then I started seeing different clues of other people being inside my household. I worked, and Miss Haley had lost her job in the process of dealing with each other, and I was still working, so I used her car. I didn't know Miss Haley had put a GPS monitor on my phone to. GPS where I was at. When I come home, my neighbor, he just like an inch away from my house, which our houses are very close. I noticed that every time I come home, he's always outside and my door is always open. I never knew the guy before and he's been my neighbor for since before I met Haley and he never stopped me, talked to me or none. I feel like the GPS monitor on my phone was placed so she would know exactly where I'm at and when I'm coming home so she can get whoever's in out. So with that being said, I started to nail my doors shut and put cameras around my house. Here's one example of him screwing the windows shut. He was fearful that I was sneaking men in and out of the windows at nighttime while he was asleep. So he screwed several of the windows shut and the back door shut. So the front door was really just about the only way in or out of the house. I've become an alcoholic dealing with Haley. I've become a very big alcoholic, and it made me aggressive. I've actually shoved Miss Haley through walls. I've kicked wall holes in walls. Uh, I've locked all my windows with nails. Massive hole over here, massive hole over here. Um, this hole, he actually pushed me into the wall. Um, my body fits perfectly in the hole. When Miss Haley say I threw her to the wall, basically, if we would have just touched the wall, it would have fell in. A couple of days before Christmas, we all got into an altercation in her vehicle. I did choke Miss Haley. Well, I, I wouldn't call it choking. I did grab her, grab her face, um, and it was a little aggressive. Then one of her family members called the cops on me, and I was arrested. I have a domestic violence charge against me from Miss Haley. She's over-exaggerating the domestic violence very much so. Right here in front of the front door was probably one of the worst instances of him choking me. Um, he choked me so hard that my nose bled and I had fingerprint, like you could see the individual fingerprints um, bruising on both sides of my neck. Haley took a lie detector test to show that she wasn't cheating on me. And if it comes back that she wasn't, we can move on forward with this marriage. We wanna have a family. I'm taking a lie detector test myself to confirm to Miss Haley that I've never cheated on her. And hopefully when she figures it out, both of us can realize that we were meant to be. So when I watch that tape and he says, well, if she passes her lie detector test, we can move forward and get married. What about your test, though? Because <laughs> he took what, 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 what planet am I living on here? <laughs> Wait, you're wondering about his test? Do you have to wonder about his test when he's thrown you through walls, he's choked you? Uh, isn't that right there enough to say, I'm never going to be with him again? You know, it should be. It, it should be. It, it, it definitely should be. It should be. I just don't know how to turn off the love that I have for him. <laughs> I when, don't know how to make When it it's stop. this, the love is being turned off. <laughs> that's, that's the switch for love. When they start choking you, turning the switch is off. You, you don't have kids, right? No. So you're not staying in this relationship because... You have a child together. You're just saying, I love this guy. I do. Okay. What if you do have a daughter someday and some guy would treat your daughter the way he's treating you? You know, I, I really hope by the time I have a daughter, I can raise her to be stronger than me. He's choking you. He says you're driving him to alcoholism, which that's 
he was drinking okay, well you, before we met. Right, but the, the point is, when it comes to alcohol, if you're doing this, nobody, unless they're taking their arm and forcing it down your throat, you got to take responsibility for your own actions, right? right? <laughs> Why are you staying with a man that is physically violent with you? I mean, I've been with my wife for 27 years now. If I go home tonight and slap her around, guess what? Relationship's over. No Oh, well, give me another chance. No, it would be over. We have two children. We've built our life together. We work together, everything. But if I put my hands on her, that would be it. <laughs> Why are you giving this guy such a pass? I love him. Mm -hmm. We had uh, been talking about getting married for a couple weeks, and then one day we were just driving through town, and I was like, hey, you want to run to the courthouse and go get married today? And he was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And... In 15 minutes, we were husband and wife. Oh, you're married. We are married. And then the nailing of the window shut. It's not a little psychotic behavior, is it? It is. It is, and I know that, and I recognize that. Um, and I let him do it and didn't say much about it because, like I said, I, I did love him, and I wanted this relationship to work, and I was trying to give him whatever kind of reassurance he needed. So if you need to, to nail the doors and the window shut, even though there might be a yeah, fire. Yeah, it's a bit much. I want, you to feel, I want you to feel secure. And then security cameras in your own home, which it's not a big deal. I got security cameras in my house, but, you know. I specifically bought those for him. Oh, so he could check on you. To offer him some kind of reassurance, and it turned into an obsession. Yeah. This him. next one we haven't had in a while on the show. Um, he checks your body for signs of cheating. How, how does that go down? Um, like, he has made me, like, undress before, and he's examined my body to see if I've been with another man, if there's, like, any, you know, Signs. leftover. <laughs> How does that make you feel? It makes me feel terrible because I'm like, my husband looks at me, and that's what he sees when he looks at me. <laughs> you, know what they, you know where they do that? They do that in prisoner to prisoners. He's doing that to a woman he loves, to his wife. Uh, what happened two days before Christmas? Um, so, to be completely honest, I can't even remember what the argument was about because it was that stupid and insignificant and should have never got to that level. Um, but it led us outside into the car, and he got out of the car. And, you know, I was kind of fearful of him in that moment because when I looked at him, his eyes were just like my husband was not in that body. And um, I locked the car door. Uh, to protect myself from him. And I didn't know that he had my key fob. And immediately he unlocked the door and climbed in the back seat and wrapped his fingers around my throat and choked me to the back of the seat um, in front of my grandmother, my wheelchair-bound grandmother. Could you breathe? No. The police were called and they asked me what happened and I told them exactly what happened. And he was booked at the county jail and he sat there for four days. I filed an EPO. Um, and then, I don't know, I, the whole time he was in jail, I didn't know how to stop feeling guilty that he was in jail. And even though I knew it was not my fault, I'm like, he's missing Christmas, he's missing his birthday, and oh, I know that oh, it's his geez. fault, but I don't know how he to stop feeling birthday. guilty. So you're only alive today sitting on this chair in the, on my stage because he released his fingers around your neck. Yeah, and you felt bad that he missed his birthday. Do you see how I know, I know terrible that it's crazy. It I know that it's crazy, and I know that it's awful, and I he just... He tried to kill you. <laughs> no. More than once. How many times has he choked you? Um, four or five times. I wouldn't say more than that. Four or five times. But that's, even that's enough, I know. Once is more than, you know. I don't know how to turn off this love that I have for I don't want him. oxygen. I want oxygen from him. <laughs> I need to breathe. Because that's what it sounds like. He determines whether you're going to breathe or not. I mean, think about that. He determines whether you are going to breathe or not. But Dennis, at some point, I have to start taking up for myself because I literally <laughs> sat at your feet and begged you, why are you doing this to me? All I'm trying to do is love you. Right. I'm not the bad guy here, and I never was.
You're gonna make it like I'm the only one that's violent in this no, relationship. No, I'm not. Before this, no, before I'm not. I ever because was I have ever to defend myself, you. Dennis. You started this. You brought this toxic thing out of me. I've never been this type of person before you. I started drinking. Dennis, I'm not the only woman you've put your hands on, and you know that. You were doing this well before it started with me. Yeah, that's she right. describes scenarios where you're putting your fingers around her throat and choking her air supply. Now, I don't know about all that. I get drunk you don't and know? get wasted. I don't remember having okay. those types of things. But so she, let's assume she's not lying, right? Because Correct. you got locked up for it. Correct. You say it's because of drinking? OK. Wouldn't that cause you to say, I can't drink anymore? Yes, I don't drink anymore. Well, this is your wife, right? Correct. You're walking down the street, and I walk up to her, and I start choking her. I just put my fingers around her neck, and I start choking her. What are you going to do? Well, we're going to have some problems, Steve. Yeah, you're going to attack me, right? Correct. So why would you do something that you would protect your own wife from, from anybody else? <laughs> what about the screwing in the screws in the windows and all that, locking the doors? That was my only way to keep her in the house? I'm not going to say keep her in the house, but keep people from getting inside my house. To do what? To sleep with her? Yes. You have to nail the windows shut on your house to keep guys from coming in and sleeping with your wife. Yes. Do you know how crazy that sounds? It sounds crazy. It never happened. It didn't. It never happened. Because if you didn't screw those windows shut, man, them dudes would just come through that window. <laughs> Hitting that, right? Yes, sir. He's saying he nails the window shut so guys just don't come storming through those windows and have sex with you. Yeah, I, I just... But the fact I, that he would be coming in through the window and you would sleep with them. Yeah. While he's this is your husband saying this. In the living room while he's in... We asked Dennis, besides the 10 women that Haley knows of... <laughs> besides the 10 women that Haley knows of while you were separated, have you engaged in any, in a, at any time in sexual intercourse with other women? He answered no. Besides the 10 women that Haley knows of while you were separated, have you engaged at any time in any physical sexual contact with any other woman? He answered no. Results to both questions, uh, Dennis told the truth. Is that a good result, a bad result? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I know ten. it's 10 women, but ten, they were separated. You, did you know about 10 women? <laughs> uh, Haley, you came here and took a lot of tech to test, and we asked you, besides the two men Dennis is aware of, Besides the two men Dennis is aware of, while you were separated, have you engaged in any time in sexual intercourse with any other men? You answered no. Besides the two men that Dennis is aware of, while you were separated, have you engaged at any time in any physical sexual contact with any other men? You answered no. Your results came back the same, and it came back that you told the truth. It's not love. It's some crazy infatuation you have with each other. But it's not love because love, you wouldn't do this. Ten women, two men. You know you could be with other people. Out of those ten that you slept with, I got to imagine it was somebody that you liked. Not as much as I Oh, like please. <laughs> did, you, did you choke any of the other ten women? No, sir. So all ten of them you treated better than your own wife. You two, if you stay together, you're going to be violent again with each other. You're going to cheat on each other. Uh, you'll, or no, you'll take breaks and then sleep with other people. Um, and you'll just, it'll be a vicious circle. It scares me that you two would even think to stay together. Someday, whether it be five years from now, ten years from now, you're going to see this show. You're going to watch it. And you're going to say, what the hell was I thinking? No matter what you say, no matter what you say, that moment in time is coming, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Goodbye.
Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.